Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my April favorites. Crazy that time is flying by. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> anyway, before I freaking kill myself with my own saliva, as I was saying that April is gone and it's crazy because we're almost like we're halfway done with the year pretty much almost I mean we're almost there I actually don't have tons of things I know I always say that but I really don't this time so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started with my April favorites so I first want to start with what I have on my lips right now and I didn't even blend it because I was just in such a hurry so I have been in love with these lip liners. I've been using them in my past videos. These are the ones that I currently have in my collection and I tech, I like pretty much have them all. Um, these are by the brand Italia Italia. I found these on eBay. I will have them or I will haul them in an eBay finds video that I have coming up soon. These are pretty much dupes for MAC lip liners. These are insanely pigmented. My favorite one it's called brown and I've been mixing it a lot with the Milani liquid lipstick in the color adorable this is a really pretty everyday nude and I've been mixing it with this color which is just called 1040 brown if you guys see this pigmentation it's insane this is literally one swipe it's so pigmented it's so creamy and it's so buttery and it's it's just perfection. So I've been mixing these two a lot. It's actually the combo that I have on my lips right now and I really, really like it. Like I said, I didn't really blend it in well, so don't mind that. But these are amazing and I got eight of them, no, 12, 12 of them for $8 and such a steal and you get tons of different colors. You can choose the colors that you want. I will have the um, information of the seller that I bought these from from eBay now for foundation I've been using the same one that you guys know this is my tried and true the makeup forever um, HD stick but I've been obsessed with the Scandinavia makeup primer and the makeup finishing spray I love to use obviously the primer spray before I apply any of my makeup I just mist my face and then I just pretty much just let it soak in after I'm done. Um, now what I personally like to do is once I'm finished with like my foundation, my powder, my contour, my highlight, I like to go in and actually set the makeup because sometimes I feel like primer sprays or setting sprays can disturb the eyeshadow or the lashes so I will go in with the makeup finishing spray and I'll just miss my face and again sometimes I'll push it in with a little beauty blender or just let it sink in and I love it. It's so so good. I really think it's worth the money. They are pretty pricey, but I think they're totally worth it. Talking about beauty blenders, I have been so in love with the Beauty Junkies Beauty Blenders. This is the one that I've been using so much. As you can see, it's freaking disgusting. It's so dirty, but I mean, you can see how squishy this is. This is the one that I've been using instead of my beauty blender. That says a lot. And then the other foundation, or the, the other beauty blenders that I've been using a lot, this is also by Beauty Junkie. So I've been using the green one a lot for my concealer for baking, for baking underneath here. I also really like to use this with cremas or with my moisturizer or anything like that because, I don't know, it just applies it really nicely. And the blue one, this is the perfect contour sponge it's perfect because if you can see it's flat so when you dip it into your setting powder you literally just whoop, and you sculpt out your cheekbones this is amazing I will have a link to where you can buy them but I honestly think they're totally worth it and they're not too pricey either so for me to mention a mascara I feel like it takes a lot because I am not a big fan of mascara first of all I don't have the longest lashes unfortunately and second of all I wear falsies pretty much every day or at least every time that I'm wearing makeup you will see me in false lashes but I wanted to mention the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, this is the Luscious Mascara I love 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 this stuff it's been really good to me and it really makes my lashes my short lashes really long and it doesn't smudge and it doesn't budge it just stays put all day mm -hmm. now for eyeliner this isn't an actual eyeliner, but 
I use it as an eyeliner. This is the LA Girl Pro Primer and this is actually a base for your eyeshadow. I love how this looks on the inner corner or the rim of your waterline. I'm going to apply a little bit just so you guys can see how it opens up my eyes. So as you can see, my eyes look a lot bigger, they look more round. I love it and it lasts longer than any eyeliner that you can put on your waterline because it is a base primer. It's thicker and it's a little bit stickier. So it just, it works really well. I wanted to mention some brushes really, really quickly. Um, this one is the, this is a brush by the brand 6 Plus. It's actually not a brand, it's just the label on the actual brush. I bought these about a year ago off of eBay and I got a set about 15 brushes for like $30 and it's just so good this is the one that I've been using every day to just dust off the powder whenever I'm baking because it is so big and fluffy that it just pretty much it just distributes the powder everywhere and then whatever I have left on my brush I just go in and I just pretty much buff it all over my skin and it sets it really nice um another brush and I know that I've mentioned this one this is the Beauty Junkies Pro Dual Fiber as you can see I'm a huge Beauty Junkies fanatic. I love, I love their stuff. I think it's amazing. Amazing quality. Amazing price. Um, this is a dual fiber brush. You can definitely use it just to <clears throat> blend out, you know, like your contour, your highlight, your blush, whatever. But I've been really, really, really loving this with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer. You guys know that I love that stuff. And it just, it applies the sheerest amount of bronzer onto your skin. And sometimes I can go really ham with that bronzer. Since it does have a little bit of our orange undertones, it can make me look like a freaking umbola sometimes. So this has definitely helped me tone it down. Then for my cheekbones, I've been loving this one again. I stopped using it and then I picked it up. I'm like, I love you. Like, why am I not using you? So this is a Real Techniques brush. I call it a contouring brush and this is the one that I bought off of eBay for a couple like a dollar I think so I will have this brush link if you guys are interested because it's the bomb.com and then literally the last thing that I wanted to mention are these shade adjusting drops by the body shop these are the lightning um, drops these are a lifesaver. I did do a whole video and demo on how these work. If you haven't seen it, I will have a link so you can go ahead and watch it. This stuff is amazing if you are just a makeup lover like me or if you're a freelance makeup artist. I do some freelance makeup here and there. I'm not, you know, like too into it. I mean, I'm into it, but I just don't do it as often. These are a must-have in any MUA's kit because there's thousands of women out there with different skin tones, different undertones, different skin texture, just everything. And these lightning drops are just, they're going to save you because they help adjust the shades of your foundation. I have a few foundations that are just way too dark for me and I don't want to throw them away. I don't want to give them away. I'm I'm, just, I'm selfish and I just want to keep them but these have been literally like lifesavers so I just use one to two drops sometimes three drops depending on the foundation that I'm wanting to fix you just mix it apply it to your foundation and it doesn't change the texture of your foundation which I love and guys that is literally it like I said I don't have very many favorites for the month of April and I don't know if I'll have very many for the month of May because I will be out in vacations maybe I'll do like a haul if I get some makeup in Mexico we'll see how it goes um yeah I believe that is everything as always let me know what your favorite products were for the month of April I always love reading the comments and definitely looking and finding and trying out new makeup so i love you guys don't forget to follow me on all my social media links everything's at omg lashes i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye <sighs>